welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be unboxing my FabFitFun box. I'm so, so, so excited. And this box is for spring 2022. I'm so excited for spring, guys. So overall, the box is really colorful. Absolutely love it. And then as we open her up, my box isn't as packed as my past few boxes. I will say that. I had lots and lots of add-ons. I did do some add-ons this time. Not as much, though. I was a little bit better with spending my money this time. We got some cute little stickers, a little booklet magazine. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got for my first choice item. I picked up the Caravan Lazy Susan and I'm really excited for this. I don't know how much I'm going to be using this in the kitchen. I actually wanted this to have so like when brands send me stuff I'll have a nice area to take photos and I can have the product on here and do like a little spin. I don't know I just figured it would be really cute. Yeah this is really nice. I got a nice slab of wood and then it's got the turn table thing attached on the bottom with a nail and overall you know it's pretty nice i'm really excited to use this i feel like in person this looks a lot better than in photos i guess did any of you guys get the lazy susan if not what did you guys pick i want to know there were so many good choices this month i think there was a bag some robes that were super expensive so many good things i'm gonna go into i think it was the next category i don't remember everything from each category so i'm just guessing at this point but the next item i chose i have had to do it guys i thought this color was so gorgeous this is one of the kate spade bags and it came wrapped so nicely so pretty <gasps> oh my gosh you guys i'm in love i wish i could have gotten two of these this is so pretty only thing i would say that i don't like is how this part sticks out of the back but i don't know if there's any way to fix that this, this is gorgeous i'm obsessed Obsessed with this shade. I'm gonna leave this on for now just because I'm probably not gonna use it for a few days So I'm gonna put it back in the packaging and keep it looking super nice and cute. I Love it this color. I'm obsessed. I love this. This is like the perfect maroony pink color And it's not like an in-your-face pink like it's a girly pink, but it's not like over girly pink I like it. I like it a lot and back in her bag she goes also guys. I apologize I don't remember the retail value use for all of these. I think this Lazy Susan was somewhere between, I think it was around $60. This Kate Spade bag, don't quote me, I think it was like $78 or something, or it could have been $45. I don't remember, but we got it and I'm excited, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it was in this category, actually, where I believe they had the Pharmacy Honey Halo as a choice. You have to choose a primary and then you're allowed to add extra add-ons from that category. If you guys are unaware because I could not add this on I made this my primary choice and I added on some honey halo moisturizers from pharmacy This is the ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer. It smells just like honey. The packaging is so cute Absolutely love it. I think I actually have this here open unless I gave it to my mom But I love this moisturizer. It retails I believe for $45 I got it as an add-on for 15 and I bought two of them because this moisturizer is so good guys if you have dry skin, it's amazing. Like super dry skin. Even if you have oily skin, I feel like it works nicely. You just use a little bit less. I had to get two and two for less than the price of one. Amazing deal. I am happy. For one of the next categories, I chose the Kate Somerville Skin Health Exfoliate Intense Exfoliating Treatment. This is the two ounce. I believe the two ounce retails for like $75. I believe it's very expensive. Kind of crazy. This is what it looks like. I've used this stuff in the past and it works. It's nice it definitely exfoliates your skin this is not the type of product you can use every day i'd say maybe once a week or every other week like that's how good it is with exfoliating oh it said use once or twice a week depending on what your skin can handle you know your skin best so that is the exfoliating treatment i love facial exfoliators however i've become 
a little bit pickier with them lately. Right now, what I'm absolutely hooked on that has cleared up my skin and has kept my skin amazing. And if I have breakouts, it clears it up like super quickly. I use a Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. I actually use that every night. I know you're not supposed to, but it's been helping my skin. I know, don't yell at me, but it works for me. So next product I chose is the Earth Harbor Glow Juice. This is a refining enzyme mask with red seaweed fruit enzymes. I actually think I had gotten this from BoxyCharm a while back. I can't totally remember. I think it was this one or I had purchased it from add-ons just because I was so interested. I feel like whenever I see a product with enzyme in the name, I just, I want to try it. I don't know why. It just, it sounds like it'd be exfoliating and nice. Today's video shout out word is honey. If you comment honey down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. One of the next products that I chose is by Josie Marin and this is their sweet citrus whipped argan oil body butter. I got this from my mom. My mom loves citrus scents, so I figured this will be a nice gift to give to her. And I love the packaging on this. I like the extra color it has. And then the last product that I ended up choosing is by The New Co. This is their Topical C Skincare Booster Powder. And I've been wanting to try a powder where you can mix it in either to like your skincare with your cleanser or your serums or your moisturizer. I just find it like really interesting. It says use two to three shakes of powder into your moisturizer or serum applied to clean skin daily. I was a little bit disappointed at how small the packaging is. However, you probably don't need too, too much because it's not the full size one, but it's a good starting point. Still well worth the value of this box for everything that we got. All right, and then I'm gonna share with you guys two more add-ons. I don't remember which category this came from, but this is the Coach necklace set and earring set. And I actually got this as a gift. It comes with the Coach pamphlet and then the earrings and necklace inside. I'm gonna keep it packaged up though, just cause it is going to be a gift. I love the cute bag that it comes with as well. And this was an add-on for, I believe $10. The last time I got it as an add-on, it was $15. So for $10 for some coach, I will take it. And then the last product I got, this is from the add-on sale. This is by Bathorium and it's their Crush Bath Soap. It's their set and it comes with six in here. I absolutely love taking baths. These are nice little packs of bath soaks. I think it's all for one use. You may be able to close it. I'm not sure. It's got really good ingredients. I'm happy with it. Okay, guys, I cannot physically hold this box up without everything tipping, but this is everything that I got. What did you guys think of the items that I chose this month? What did you guys get in your FabFitFun boxes? And did anybody get any extra add-ons or anything? Let me know all down below. I am so happy with my box. I like the variety of stuff. I am very into skincare and makeup and all of that. So my box is very beauty heavy, which I was trying to get away from a little bit, but it's hard when the beauty items are so good that I can't pass them up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.